Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be discussing with you the difference between electric potential and electric potential energy. So let's have first the definition of the two um, topics. So the first one, the electric potential is the amount of work needed to move a unit charge from a reference point to a specific point against an electric field. So dito, ang electric potential is the amount of work. Work siya, while, while yung electric potential energy naman is the energy that is needed to move a charge against an electric field. So yun yung pagkakaya nila, yung electric potential is the amount of work. Yung electric potential energy naman, yung energy na kailangan nating malaman to move a charge against an electric field. So let's proceed with the formula. Electric potential has a formula of V, yun yung, yun yung notation na gagamitin natin para sa electric potential. That is equal to KQ over R. So, yung K naman natin ay fam familiar na kayo dyan. That is your Coulomb's constant that has a value of 8.988 times 10 raised to 9 Newton met meter squared per Coulomb squared. Then, we have another formula for electric potential that is equal to V equals so U is the electric potential energy over a charge. The formula for the electric potential energy is this. U is used to denote the electric potential energy that is equal to KQ1 Q2 over R. R is the distance and we have another formula to be used which is U equals um, V or the electric potential times the charge. So, when it comes to units, electric potential has a unit of joules per coulomb or volts pag pinagsama. Electric potential energy naman ay newton per meter or joules lang. So, yun yung pagkakaiba. Volts sa electric potential, joules naman sa electric potential energy. So, for you to understand it more, let's have the first example. So, the first example is this. A 2 meter diameter plastic sphere used in a static electricity demonstration has a uniformly distributed 40 nanocoulomb charge on its surface. What is the electric potential near its surface? So, una, kailangan yung malaman, ano ba yung Is it the electric potential or the electric potential energy? So, according to the question, what is the electric potential? So, yun yung... V, electric potential. So, anong formula ang gagamitin? Para malaman, kailangan malaman muna natin yung mga given. So, ang mga given dito ay 2 meters. Meron tayong 40 nano coulomb. So, 2 meters, that is your distance. So, denoted as R. So, 2 meters, tagay natin. Take note that, this, that the standard unit of distance must be meters. So, kung yan ay nakasentimeter, decimeter, you have to convert it first to meters. Next, Meron tayong 40 nanocoulombs. So dito, yung 40 nanocoulombs natin ay magiging charge. Siya yung charge natin. Siya yung Q. So 40 nanocoulombs. Nanocoulombs can also be written as 40 times 10 raised to negative 9 coulomb. So ito yung tinutukoy na nano. Okay, next. So, meron na tayong uh, R tsaka Q. Ang hinahanap natin yung um, electric potential. So, which which uh, formula will be used between the two? So, meron tayong R tsaka Q. So, kung gagamitin natin yung... I mean, kung meron tayong R tsaka Q, probably ito yung gagamitin natin yung formula. So, gamitin natin. So, V equals... K is... Constant, so 8.988 times 10 raised to positive 9. Then yung Q times tayo ulit times ito, yung Q natin. So that is 40 times 10 raised to negative 9 um, coulomb. So divided by yung R natin. R is 2. Okay? Now, lagay natin sa, sa calculator yan. So, it will become 
Lagi mo na tayo fraction. 8.988 times 10 raised to 9. Okay? Then, baba tayo times 40 times 10 raised to negative 9 naman. Then, baba lang natin. That is over 2 equals so ito yung magiging sagot lang. 179.76 So lagyan natin 179.76 What would be the unit? The unit for the electric potential is volt or volts or pwede rin namang joules per coulomb So alin man dyan Pero tayo ang gagamitin natin lagi ay yung volts so, this is our final answer. Let's have the second example. Example number two, calculate the amount of energy possessed by 7.84 times 10 raised to 5 coulombs at a point where the electric potential is 3.20 volts. So, what is missing or what is asked in the question? So, sabi, calculate the amount of Energy, so electric potential energy ang kailangan natin. So, it is denoted as U. Okay, yan yung inahanap. And then, ano ba yung mga given natin? The given in this problem are, una ito, that is 7.84 times 10 raised to 5. So, pag meron kayo nakitang C, that is Coulomb. So, yun na Q. Charge yun. So, 7.84 times 10 raised to 5. Next, ano pa yung given? 3.20 volts. So, ibig sabihin yan ay uh, electric potential denoted as V. So, lagay lang natin 3.20 volts. O, yun lang naman yung given. Dalawa lang ang hinahanap yung electric potential energy. Meron tayong dalawang available formula dito. So, based sa given natin, malalaman natin kung anong formula ang dapat gamitin. So, meron tayong Q at V sa given. So, meron tayo ditong Ato, V at Q. So, probably, ang gagamitin natin ay itong first formula. We cannot use the second formula because we only have one charge. While in, in this formula, before we use this, kailangan meron tayong two charges. Kaya nga siya may Q1 tsaka Q2. Okay? Now, let's proceed with uh, computation. So, U equals yung V natin, yung electric potential, 3.20. Then, multiply lang natin sa charge, given charge, which is 7.84 times 10 raised to 5. So, madali lang yan. Multiply nyo lang sa calculator natin. So, this will become 3.20 times 7.84 times 10 raised to 5. That is equal to um, 2,508,800. So, 2,508,800. 8, 2, 8, so, since ang natin ay energy, electric potential energy, the unit must be J or yung joules. Okay? This will be our final answer. Let's proceed with the third example. What are the sign and magnitude of a point that produces a potential of negative 5 volts at a distance of 3 meters? So dito, sign and magnitude of a point that produces a potential of negative 5 volts daw. So proceed tayo sa given muna. Okay? Ang given natin dito ay itong negative 5 volts which is our electric potential. So yan ay V. So, V equals negative 5 volts. Next, yung 3 meters, that is your distance. So, 3 meters. Dito, ang hinahanap kasi, what are the sign and magnitude? Ang may sign lang naman at magnitude, dito, yung point. So, yung point na yan, yan yung charge. Ang hinahanap yung charge. So, dito, Q ang hinahanap. Okay? Ito na yung nilagay kong formula kasi yan yung may, may V. Okay, yan yung may Q. O, yan din yung may R. Okay, so ngayon, ang 
ang kailangan kasi natin malaman, yung charge. So, itong Q ang kailangan natin malaman. Given naman na yung K, K is the constant. So, lagay lang natin, palta natin, yung V, palta natin ng negative 5. Yan yung V natin, ito. Next, equals, yung K natin, it is the Coulomb's constant or 8.9, 8.8 times 10 raised to 9. Then, times natin sa Q, yan yung nawawala, over yung R natin which is 3. Okay? Para ma-solve natin yung Q, kailangan ma-isolate natin siya. So, ang gagawin nyo is cross multiplication. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Times, copy natin na sa ibabaw. 8.988 times 10 raised to 9. Then, times Q. Then, para ma-isolate natin Q or para ma-solve natin yung Q, divide it both sides sa kasama ni Q. Ang kasama, na, ang kasama ni Q ay ito, yung Coulomb's constant. So, divide lang natin dyan times 10 raised to 9. Nandito rin, para ma-maintain yung equality, 8.988 times 10 raised to 9 din. Then, cancel it out. Okay, ang matita rin na lang is Q. Then, divide mo lang to, yun yung magiging sagot natin. So, let's divide it using our calculator. Negative 15, naging mata yung fraction. Negative 15 divided by 8.988 times 10 raised to 9. So, this would become um, negative 0 0.000. Yan. Ito yung magiging sagot natin. Kailan natin copy yung lahat yan? Kasi, puro 0 eh. So, mas maganda kung i-convert natin into scientific notation. Okay? So, yung ginawa ko, kinonvert ko lang into scientific notation. So, magiging sagot natin ay negative 1.6 Pag ganito, 2 decimal places na lang. Negative 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 9. 1.67 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 9. This will, what is the unit? Since yan ay charge, login nyo lang na letter C. So, yun magiging sagot natin. Okay? So, kapag ka gusto nyo i-convert into scientific notation, lagay nyo lang shift mode, then yung number 8, then yung number 1 lang. Kung ayaw nyo ng scientific notation, ganun pa rin, number 8, then plus yung number 2, babalik yung doon. Okay? Pero mas maganda kasi kung scientific notation tayo. Sa ibang calculator, just press mode lang, tatlong beses, hanapin nyo yung word na norm. Then yung press, press number 1 para sa scientific notation. Press number 2 para sa standard form. Okay? Now, we're done with our example number 3. We may now proceed with example number 4. So we have here the example number 4. A particle with a charge of 8 nanculum is 4 meters away from a charge of 10 coulombs. What is the electric potential energy? So, electric potential energy yung hinahanap. So, lagi tayo dito U. Question mark. Missing. Ano yung given natin? Meron tayong 8 nanopulong. May letter C. So, yan ay charge. So, meron tayong charge. Actually, dalawa yung charge natin kasi meron pa tayong 10 coulombs. Okay. Ibig sabihin, meron pa tayong isang charge. So, magde-denote tayo ng Q1 at Q2 natin. Okay. So, lagi tayo dito ng Q1 equals yung nauna, 8 nanocoulombs. Then, Q2 natin, yung 10 coulombs. Okay? So, meron na tayong dalawang given. Meron pa ba? A particle with... Ito, yung 4 meters, yan yung magiging distance. So, lagyan natin yung R equals 4 meters. So, ito na yung formula na gagamitin. Isa lang naman yan. To get the electric potential energy, so, U equals, yung K natin, constant, dapat kabasado nyo na yan, 8.988 times 10 raised to positive 9. Times, Q1 natin, ang 8 nanocoulomb ay equal lang sa, ito ko nalagay, 8 times 10 raised to 9. Ay, I mean negative 9. 8 times 10 raised to negative 9 coulomb. So, lagay ko lang dito, 8 times 10 raised to negative 9. Coulomb. Next, yung Q2 natin times. Ito, Coulombs na naman yan. So, wala kang dadagdag na times 10. Okay? 
that is 10 lang. Divided by yung R, which is 4. Then, press that on your calculator para makuha yung final answer. So, that is 8 point, nagitay ng option, 8.988 times 10 raised to raised to 9. Siya nga pala, yung ibang calculator, hindi kasi kaya yung ganda yung maglagay ng fraction. So, pwede nyo, pwede nyo idire-direcho yung one-liner. Pero lalagyan nyo lang ng parenthesis. Paano yun? Lagyan nyo lang dito ng parenthesis. Pag pinrest nyo sa kanya. Ito, yung line na yan ay over or divide. Lagyan nyo din ng over for dyan. Then, gawin natin. Ganyan rin one-liner tayo. So, parenthesis tayo. 8.988 times 10 raised to 9. Okay. Yan. Actually, yung iba wala rin, wala rin ano eh. So, pwede nyo gamitin yung, yung ibang sign. So, meron ba dito yung pang ano? So, wala. So, ito yung gagamitin talaga natin. Base to 9. And then, times 8 times 10 raised to 9. Negative 9. Then, baba tayo ulit, times 10. Then, lagay nyo ng close parenthesis. Then, yung over, di-divide nyo lang. Then, parenthesis 4. Then, equal sign. The answer would be 179.76. So, 179.76. Since ito ay electric potential energy, the unit must be joules. Kasi energy yan. So, this will be our final answer. So that's it. We have already discussed the four examples and the formula as well as the definition to get the difference between the two. Electric potential and electric potential energy.